This is Halloween, this is Halloween, everybody, everybody scream! So, I am Rodimus2099 with another video. Today is Film Friday, as usual. I will be reviewing the film The Nightmare Before Christmas, which is my favorite uh, Halloween movie. Uh, I watched it all the time with my sister as a kid. Well, when it came out, I was a little older. But it was just so unique. It wasn't like, oh, Halloween Town. If you know what that is. Or, oh, babysitter, a vampire, funny. And it wasn't too cliche or scary. It was scary. It had that tendency of actually making me go, ugh. But not to the point where I was like, this is a full-on Jason movie. <laughs> but I really did enjoy it when it came out. It was so different and pretty new that I felt it explored a lot of concepts and content that really couldn't be explained like all these uh holidays kind of living inside a place and uh, that's cool also i'm a big sucker for stop motion as you all know um maybe you don't know i mean probably if you're on this channel you probably don't know um but yeah i'm really into that yeah because it's just so cool but this is my favorite stop motion movie um and i'm very particular with them if some stuff looks off, I will definitely say, that wasn't that good. Um, unlike other people who are like, oh, I just like it for the story. I'm like, I look at the cinematography way more than I do with an actual movie. Um, with an actual movie with people. Because in a stop motion, you have so much time to correct stuff. If there's something that really looks unfocused for no reason, except for just being unfocused, I'm going to be a little mad. Um... Well, actually, Nightmare Before Christmas is my second favorite. My first is Fantastic Mr. Fox. I will review that at a later date. But this one really was cool. I mean, it changed the whole kind of idea of claymation. Instead of making it look all... I don't want to say derpy, but, like, Gumby was the main thing behind it, behind claymation at the time. And, yeah, really, it looks better. <laughs> um, And I'm glad that Tim Burton did this. Because he's such a good director that he does such good, like, Halloween time movies. Um, I definitely feel if he didn't make this, people would have been like, the next Tim Burton. Which, there can never be another one, because he's so good. Um, but I like most of the stuff that he does, and this is no exception. This actually really got me into him, into watching his movies. I don't want to give too many spoilers, but Jack Skellington is the best Halloween character ever. I was in for uh, Halloween two times as a kid. Um, one year, it was just because I wanted to. The other year, it's because my sister was, uh, I forgot her name. The one girl in the movie. Um, that's all I really have to say about this movie. I don't want to spoil it because it's so good. I don't want to kind of say stuff. But Nightmare Before Christmas gets on my, my particular scale, a B plus, which is pretty high for, uh, a claymation movie. Um, I do want to mention... I'm sorry for not reviewing Candyman, but I just didn't feel like it. I just didn't. Um, but, in other news, I do want to review, tell you what I'm going to be reviewing tomorrow. Which was going to be Nightmare on Elm Street. But, I'm feeling that's not really a Halloween movie, more just a horror movie. So I'm trying to think, what's a good Halloween movie? And then I realized... Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, bitches. I'm going to be reviewing that tomorrow. I'll see you there. Unless I change my mind and I don't review it tomorrow, which could happen. Anyway, I'll see you then. Goodbye.